In this video, we're going to be bringing back a brand new and old meta way of blitzing. And this comes to us out of the nickel over. You could do this out of other formations, but I do think that it has a lot of value out of nickel over. Now, uh, the primary thing we're looking to do is just give you the kind of formula, if you will. You can cross apply this to other formations. But I do think nickel over is the best one um, because of the coverages you can have alongside of that but also because of just the basic alignment of the formation. Now, if you would like to get my full nickel over defensive ebook, uh, go ahead and make sure you join our Patreon. The link is in the description down below. Um, you can get access to the full ebook for just 10 bucks. $10 is gonna get you access to all of our ebooks over in the Patreon. So again, if you wanna sign up for that, head down to the description and click the link down below. All right, guys, so I want to do a quick video here on uh, just kind of some what I basically this used to be called sugar sugar blitzing. Um, and it was a little different. Now it's just it, it, it's basically just called gap pressure. But anyways, we're just going to use Overstore Brave. You could do whatever you you could use any plan in this formation to create this. But basically, the idea is we're going to try to get the linebackers to come down into the end of the gaps. And it's going to create some pretty interesting edge pressure. So we're still brave. All we're going to do is we're going to globally blitz our linebackers. And then we're going to um, basically pinch our D-line. And then we're going to press until these guys go into the gap, as you can see. That's basically it. That's the setup. That's the defense. And then you're going to stand right here. Now, the beauty of this is you can man up the running back, for example, as you can see. So if we want to try to create pressure off the right, we're going to go ahead and contain get this pressure coming in off the right side and you see how fast this pressure can come in when you mug these gaps it really messes with the o-line logic this year so as you can see here let me uh come over here if you look at this we actually get double edge pressure and we're only sending five and everybody's manned up across the board madden 23 is one of the i think most important things you can do for your defense is have good alignment nickel over affords a lot of value with that so you know you see here again um, you might have to press a couple times to get these guys to go into the gaps but just by simply getting them into the gaps what this allows us to do now is we have a clear-cut place to use her you know so we're just trying to hover over the center here now what you'll see is if I block a running back that time actually does pick it up but most of the time it's not going to um, because you're getting this double, um, this double pressure uh, that's coming. Now, again, you want to pinch your line. That's the main thing. Um, you might have to pinch your line uh, or your, uh, you might have to pinch um, your, or not pinch, but press your coverage. But you can also manually back players off, right? Which I think is actually very effective. So, again, here you'll see this pressure kind of loop around. You see there that guy comes off the right and is able to get, you know, at the quarterback. So again, the setup, you have to globally blitz your linebackers. So you're going to hit right on the right D-pad. You're going to blitz all your linebackers. You're then going to pinch your D-line. And if they're still not there, oftentimes when you press, they're going to go right down into the gaps. And you see how this creates just a really nice little pressure um, that I think has a lot of value. Because again, you're able to kind of lurk here and then kind of work back to here. And you see how fast the pressure comes in. Now, the other thing is we can actually do something kind of interesting. So let's say you want to play coverage from this. So if we want to play coverage from this, what we would do, we can come out in the same play, um, of course. Or the other thing we can do, though, and I'm going to actually just throw some audibles in, some different coverages that I might want to run. Quarters, we'll grab cover two, uh, and then we'll grab cover three cloud. Okay? So what you'll do here is you'll come out, whatever play you want to call, and you're going to do the same basic thing. You're going to globally blitz your linebackers. You're going to pinch your line and then go ahead and press until the linebackers come into the gaps. As you see here, this is match coverage, and you should see double pressure. As you can see, we get the pressure coming in at the quarterback. So that's the pressure piece of this, right? Um, now we're going to go over the coverage. So uh, let's say, let me go back to quarters. Uh you know, kind of get them in the gaps here. Now, let's say I want to play coverage and I want it to look like pressure. We're going to click globally, reset our linebackers. We're going to hit right on the D-pad and we're going to hit left trigger. And what you're going to see is they're still going to be down here, but now they're back in the zones that they were in. 
So what this allows us to do is this looks like pressure, right? But now we can create an entire coverage shell that looks just like this. This is a really, really good way to play defense right now because you'll get incredible one-on-ones on the outside where your edge threats or your double or nothings or even just your regular pass rush can go absolutely nuts. Again, you can do this out of everything. You can come out, you just basically blitz your linebackers to create the, the, the look pre-snap. And then once they get down here, you can either start adjusting them or if you just want them to be in their standard zones, that's fine as well. So for example, let's say we want to try to do a defense that looks um, you know, kind of like this to a degree. So if you look here, you see that we're going to kind of create a coverage like this, you know, very, very uh, much so pretty doable as you can see. And so now you'll also notice that my sheds, I am going up against two secure protectors, but just notice the one-on-one. -on -one. The fact that they're getting these one-on-ones is really helpful uh, for this defense. So again, really simple. You can do this. Uh, I love doing this out of Overstorm uh, Brave. The reason why is because I'll bring these guys down in the gaps and then we'll just kind of go crazy from an adjustments perspective, right? We could do something like this. Um, this is a really, really good adjustment for a bunch. Uh, maybe you have a little three wreck in the middle if you want to have drop eight and then you can kind of lurk the running back. So as you can see here, this is a really, really good coverage and it looks identical to the pressure. I feel like in Madden, the best players in the world, what they do, in my opinion, from my studies, basically they come out in a play and then they make every defense look identical. So you want your coverage defense to look identical to your pressure defense. You ideally want your man coverage defense to look identical to your zone defense. And you want to learn how to have a starting point. Maybe for you, that's Overstorm Brave. For me, that's what I've been kind of using lately. But have some kind of starting foundational point. And then from there, you can build um, you can build different coverages, right? So if we wanted to play cover three, you know, we could do something uh, we could do something like this. Now this looks like Overstorm Brave, you know, but we're running a, an entirely different scheme, as you can see. And you see how uh, much better that flat does when it's not compressed so bad. Um, that's a big deal. So, anyways, if you guys want to get my full nickel over defensive ebook, I'd really encourage you to check it out. I think there's a lot of good stuff in there. We give you the best adjustments and strategies for defending a lot of the best formations in the game. Uh, we also give you little wrinkles like this as well that you could throw in, uh, and we update it as we need to. So, you get access to all of that, but you also get access to a whole library of ebooks. We have 17 offensive and defensive ebooks. I'm just getting ready to launch my new West Coast Bunch ebook um, that I've been working on kind of behind the scenes. So if you want to check all that stuff out again, everything's in the Patreon. For just $10, you get access to a ton of ebooks and material. So I'd really encourage you to check that out. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.